All right, let's get Fina up on stage here. Amazon's drone delivery fleet hits milestone with FAA clearance from Bloomberg via MSN.com. Retail behemoth, Amazon.com Incorporated, took a big leap toward delivering goods from the sky by becoming one of only a handful of companies certified by the U.S. government to operate as a drone airline. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't we have nice things? Because government, we've had this technology for a long time. And yet we still have UPS trucks driving around delivering products from Amazon and so many other retailers. Totally unnecessarily. All of the pollution, all of the labor, all of the vehicle maintenance and road wear and everything else that goes into that, totally unnecessary. It's been unnecessary for years now. And it's just finally getting to the point where this might be a reality on the horizon. And yet, who's it going to benefit? Jeff Bezos, right? The Federal Aviation Administration design designated Amazon Prime Air and Air Carrier, the company said Monday. That allows Amazon to begin its first commercial deliveries in the U.S. under a trial program using the high-tech devices it unveiled for that purpose last year. Amazon and its competitors must still clear some imposing regulatory and technical hurdles before small packages holding the likes of cat food or toothpaste can routinely be dropped at people's homes. But the action shows they've convinced the government they're ready to operate in the highly regulated aviation sector. Yeah. Government has claimed to own the air. And it wouldn't be enough to just let people use this technology. No, we have to be retarded in our development. And I do mean that word not pejoratively, literally. Technological development and impl implementation is retarded by government, by regulation. Amazon could have been doing this years ago, easily, many years ago, if it wasn't for government regulation. And you would have had just, I mean, we don't need special laws. We don't need regulations. Hey, don't hurt. As a libertarian, we know the only laws you need are don't hurt people, don't take their stuff. Simple as that. Government violates those basic ethical premises all the time. So why do we need regulation of the air? You don't. You don't. You simply don't. This is part of the government racket, right? Uh, the Amazon deliveries could have just, we could have been having drones just fly over roadways, right? We're not going to go over anybody's property. We're going to use existing commonly accepted public thoroughways, roadways, at least these channels where transportation is allowed. People accept that vehicles are traveling on them. Why not just have the drones go follow exactly where the trucks would go, and you're still going to have a way more efficient system than, than what you have today. Of course, yeah, line of sight, all of that would be better. And yeah, when they work out the technology and make it perfectly safe and reliable for the liability, then they can do that. But if you have a, a, a if, if the only laws that society recognize are don't hurt people, don't take their stuff, well, yeah, you take care of all of the liability there because if Amazon has a drone drop out of the sky and hurt somebody, well, you just hurt somebody. Remember the two rules? Don't hurt people. Don't take their stuff. Well, you violated one of those rules. You're going to be held accountable for that. You're going to be required to pay damages. And Amazon would not be able to do business without insurance. And the insurance companies would go to Amazon. And that's the force of regulation that we need. For them to go to Amazon and say, well, we'll, we'll provide you with insurance liability. So like if you hurt or kill somebody with a drone, uh, we'll cover it. But before we provide you this insurance, we got to make sure that your shit's safe. But no, government's taken over that function. And now if the FAA says it's safe, then it's safe. And what that really means is it's safe for the establishment. It's safe for the powers that be. It's safe, it's safe, it's safe for, for Jeff Bezos. It's safe for the banking class. And it's safe for corporatism. Not safe for you. But I'm still, uh, still excited about this. I'm still... I'm still encouraged. I think that at least that this technology is finally being implemented is a beautiful mark of human progress. And pretty soon, you're going to be able to get anything you want dropped out of the sky by drone. In fact, you're going to have drones at your property, at your home. You'll be able to, you know, a little, maybe a little 
helipad somewhere and you want to send uh, send your neighbor across the street a cup of sugar? And you're afraid of Corona? Hey, just drone it over there. It's going to be a verb now. Here's my prediction. Drone. You're going to drone it over. Drone. Hey, drone me that shit, bro. Hey, I'm, I need a smoke. Can we just drop a little weed out of the sky into my hands? Yeah, there will be an app for that. And that's a beautiful thing. Despite government, humanity marches on.